Let's head to Wairarapa in the town of Masterton, which has reached the finals of the Keep New Zealand Beautiful, Most Beautiful City Awards, somewhat to the surprise of some locals. It's up against more high-profile spots like Napier and Tauranga, but loyal Masterton dwellers believe their home should indeed get the crown. Why? Ruth Hill went over the Rimatakas from Wellington to check out its charms. Masterton, home of the Golden Shears Shearing Competition, is an honest working town, the kind of place you go to to do the weekly grocery shop or have the tractor serviced. But now it's making a play for the title of most beautiful city. Arapata Samuels, who's 13, is one of Masterton's newest residents, having moved here from Danny Virk just two weeks ago. He has no problem believing this is New Zealand's most beautiful city. Well, I like how the... Friendly, Yeah, how they're friendly and all, and... The people here are great and there's a lot of places where you can buy the stuff that you want. Beautiful, leafy Queen Elizabeth Park, which is over 130 years old, obviously older than its name, is the jewel in the city's crown. Masterton native Tracy Honeyset, who's out with her three boys, says Masterton is a great place to bring up kids. When you move away from the area and then you start to look at what's around for kids and you realise actually what you had here, because we lived in Christchurch for a year and I just found it, there wasn't anything like it. The park's miniature train is a popular school holiday attraction and run entirely by volunteers. I asked Barry Stroud about his favourite part of Masterton. Actually right where I'm standing, making kids happy on a, uh, on a sunny afternoon. Brad is the train driver today. He moved here ten months ago after five years on the Gold Coast. He admits arriving in winter was a bit of a shock, but he doesn't see why Masterton shouldn't win the top award. Yeah, why not? I can't see why not. It's got a lot of things going for it. Willie Ehrlich has a sober appreciation of the town's assets. Um, it has changed. It's got, we've got Burger King here now, KFC and Pizza Hut and stuff. Countdown's getting done up now. Heidi Stone moved away after school, but like many, she came home. Masterton's like a magnet. If you, if you live here, you move away, you always come back. So. Friends and family. Yeah. The editor of the Wired Up at Times Age newspaper, Seamus Boyer, was a bit shocked at the deluge of negative comments on social media after the story broke about Masterton making the final, with one smart aleck asking if all the other cities in New Zealand had been blown up. A lot of the people will be expats and they've, they've moved away and now they get a chance to have a crack at their old town. One person will feed on the next comment and they'll try and outdo each other in terms of being negative. Is Masterton a perfect place? No. But these awards are about accentuating the positives. And it's great to actually have Masterton in the news nationally in terms of a positive story about the town doing well. The winners of the Beautiful Awards will be announced at a gala dinner in Hastings next Friday. For Checkpoint, Ruth Hill. I always think that the Wairarapa uh, is a slightly underrated region in terms of its beauty. There's some magic points, particularly around the south. The farmland, you drive from Featherston towards Martinborough, you get to the point where the valley is beneath you and then the hills on the other side, all the vineyards stretched out. That is a magic view. And then beyond that, south, Cape Palace, Anawi, fish and chips at the Lake Ferry pub. Magic part of the world, in my opinion. Much worth visiting if you're ever in the neighbourhood anyway.